Okay, I'm going to teach you about finding fulgurites. Look at this beautiful piece here. Look at that. Oh, it's all glass. Mostly glass. Some tin. Look at this piece here. It's a beautiful glass fulgur right there. Let me put it up in the light so you can see it. Look at that fulgur right there. Beautiful piece of fulgur right. Okay. And, um... There's a whole box full here, Fulgurites. Wow, here's a nice green one. You put it up to the light. Yeah. Anyhow, it doesn't want to focus, but, uh... There's some more Fulgurites here. Oh, look over here. Look at these huge pieces right there. Huge piece of Fulgurite. Actually, two pieces. I broke it, but, um... I'll tell you where I found these beautiful pieces, specimen. This one here is probably about 10, 1950s uh, Roswell Coke bottles. Now, if you go outside of Bra uh, Sunset and Brasher, there's an, there's an old dump site. Um, and there's a lot of metal in the ground there, so it tends to attract um, lightning strikes. And then when it hits this stuff here, it does this to it. It... Uh, it turns it into this. It's you know it's glass fulgurites, but but anyhow, if you go in Roswell, New Mexico, and outside of town, look how just a huge piece. Oh, it's a big piece of fulgurite there. It's all mostly glass too. You can see here there's, there's a Coke bottle sticking out of it right there. But um, if you're in Roswell, there's an old dump site just outside. Of, uh, it's probably abandoned 40 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, and it goes back probably to the 1930s. And right now, all the tumbleweeds blown out from the last windstorm, you can just find fulgurites everywhere out there. I mean, you you can't go anywhere without finding them, sticking them out of the ground. There's just, just tons of fulgurites everywhere you look. Um, so if you're a fulgurite hunter near Roswell, it, it, it's uh, the mother load. Just um, the old abandoned dump site uh, uh, on Brasher and Sunset. Ciao. Happy hunting.